This workflow is going to be looking at some of the extensions inside of the new former. This one in particular is from TestFit, which has a car parking automation tool. There's also one there from ShapeDiver, and you can also publish other ones. Here we go to the extension viewing tab here and click on the car park tool. You'll see at the moment it's set to zero. What we're going to be doing is delineating over the site boundary to create the car park layout. As we create that layout, it's automatically populating it with the car parking bays, uh, the buffers between the bays, the spaces between the bays, even uh, disabled or paraplegic, paraplegic parking car parking bays. Here, once we finish it, it will be uh, finalizing the automation of the car parking and you can see it's populated it with a number of spaces and it's given you the square meterage for that car parking. When we click on the automation tool, we can start to make adjustments to the orientation. So as we go through and crank that around, it will do different layouts for us. Um, we can also start to look at the bay woods, um, different buffers, numerous other settings that are uh, in the test fit automation parking tool here. So if we need to make that bay width wider, we can increase that. As we go through and make these adjustments, it will automatically update for us on the screen here. So it's a really powerful tool to automate the layout of the car parking space. It will save you a huge amount of time. You can do this with this extension. You don't have to be an expert and it will quickly give you the square meterage and the number of car park spaces based on the settings from the test fit automation program. So that's one of our new extensions inside a former from TestFit.